China's long UAV has begun testing its long M9 strike and reconnaissance unmanned aerial vehicle, a delta-wing drone whose design resembles that of the Iranian Shahid and Russian Garin loitering munitions. The manufacturer says the platform can be used not only for strikes but also for reconnaissance missions, the drone is designed to carry a payload of up to 50 kilograms, allowing for explosive warheads or optical reconnaissance modules. The Long M9 has a takeoff weight of 200 kilograms, placing it in the long-range loitering munition class. The maximum speed is reported at 223 kilometers per hour, with a cruising speed of around 190 kilometers per hour, similar to the Shahid. Its range is up to 1,620 kilometers, with a flight duration of 8 to 9 hours, making it potentially suitable for long-range strikes. The system includes a protected data transmission channel and can operate without GPS, increasing its resistance to electronic warfare. In reconnaissance configuration, it carries a wide-angle infrared camera and an AI-assisted system for night operations and low visibility conditions. The manufacturer also reported that the drone can operate at altitudes up to 4,500 meters, highlighting its flexibility for various operational scenarios. Recently, the R-60 air-to-air missile was first observed on Shahid drones, indicating that Russia is equipping some drones with airborne missile systems. Russia has fielded a new version of the Shahid-136 Kamikaze drone armed with a single R-60 air-to-air missile. In principle, the heat-seeking R-60 would give the one-way attacker a way to engage Ukrainian fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters. The Shahid-136 is an Iranian-made loitering ammunition also called suicide or kamikaze drone developed and manufactured by Iran Aircraft Manufacturing Industrial Company. The company was established in 1976, it belongs to the Iran Aviation Industries Organization and is located at Shaheen Shar, Isfahan. The original factory, built by Textron, was to produce Bell 214 of different configurations in Iran with a deal that involved several hundred helicopters and technology transfers. The drone is designed to conduct ground attacks. The Shahid-136 is not only a suicide drone and according to pictures released by Iranian media, Iran has also created a new way to launch the drones in a kind of multiple launch, or drone swarming, format. Drone swarms are a new technology whereby multiple drones are used to strike targets. The drone was unveiled in 2021 and is now used by the Russian army in Ukraine. According to information released by the Ukrainian government on October 23, 2022, Russia has ordered 2,400 Iranian-made Shahid-136 suicide drones from Iran. Russia modifying Shahid-136 to carry R-60 reflects a similar deterrent playbook, even though how credible a threat this combination presents is not currently known. Ukrainian fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters play key roles in helping to blunt attacks involving these drones, and would have no way of knowing in advance whether their targets are toting air-to-air -air missiles. Shahid-136 and the new anti-air configuration could be employed more independently, especially behind the front lines to help deter pop-up attacks by the Ukrainian Air Force, as well as layered in with other versions as part of larger strikes. Whether the integration of the R-60 onto the Shahid-136 might be a stepping stone to Russia adding other anti-air capabilities to those drones also remains to be seen. As mentioned earlier, the R-60 form factor presents benefits when it comes to integration onto uncrewed aircraft. The R-60 armed Shahid-136 further underscores Russia's broader efforts to evolve and expand on the original design, which is Iranian in origin. Multiple variants and derivatives of the Shahid-136, including a jet-powered type, are now produced in large numbers in Russian factories. They are known locally by the name Garin, the Russian word for geranium. A degree of autonomous dynamic targeting capability, fueled in part by the steady proliferation of advances in artificial intelligence and machine learning, may also be on the horizon for the drones, if it has not been implemented already, to at least a limited degree. Only time will tell how long it might be before a Russian Shahid-136 might attempt to engage a Ukrainian fixed-wing aircraft or helicopter with an R-60, which would increase the credibility of the threat. Regardless, the prospect that any Russian Shahid-136 might now be armed with an air-to-air -air missile presents an additional risk factor that Ukrainian forces will have to take into account.
The Chinese company Long UAV has started testing the Long M9 Strike Kamikaze drone, which in shape and concept closely resembles the Russian Garin and the Iranian Shahid. Earlier, it was reported that Ukrainian forces captured an intact Russian-Iranian Shahid-3 suicide drone, allowing analysts to examine its mesh network control architecture, Chinese-made turbojet engine, and dozens of foreign-sourced electronic components used for long-range strikes. The Ukrainian defense outlet reported that the Chinese company has begun trials of the Long M9 suicide drone, noting that its overall shape and concept are similar to the long-range one-way attack systems widely used by Russia against Ukrainian cities. Long UAV describes the Long M9 as a heavy payload, long-endurance oil-powered delta-wing unmanned aerial vehicle intended for military reconnaissance and strike missions, tactical attacks, and anti-aircraft target practice. Technical data published by the manufacturer describes the Long M9 as a fuel-powered delta-wing UAV with a wingspan of 2.5 meters and a body length of 3.5 meters, launched from a rocket-assisted catapult for rapid deployment. Long UAV lists a payload capacity of 50 kilograms, an empty weight of 62.5 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 200 kilograms, placing it in the heavy tactical category. The company states that the drone has a cruise speed of 190 km per hour, a maximum speed of 223 km per hour and a stall speed of 144 km per hour, with a maximum flight altitude of 4,500 meters. A 108-liter fuel tank and fuel consumption of 10 to 12 liters per hour give a stated maximum range of 1,620 km and endurance of 8 to 9 hours, parameters comparable to long-range loitering munitions. The company says the guidance suite includes dual visible light tracking, fixed coordinate strike modes, frequency hopping communications, multiband satellite navigation and anti-jamming data links with terminal guidance for 15 to 70 degree attack angles, giving the Long M9 emission profile similar to Shahid and Garin long-range strike drones.